Hello everyone and welcome back to the seventh part tutorial of the bathroom modeling tutorial. I'm gonna continue with this tutorial and what we will do next um, is uh, I want to make you know the, the way you know this feature that opens the water well basically start uh, the water pumping the water or whatever you call it basically I call this a tap and whatever opens it I don't know anyway the valve velvy yeah velvy so Anyway, I want to create this kind of a velvet here or whatever it is and simply mount this on the wall. Now, I know some features we will need to duplicate maybe. Maybe it will be easier for us to duplicate because I still want to make the, you know, the shower that you stand inside of it and not a bath as well. So right now we're going to create sometimes little features and it will be annoying to, you know, uh, distribute them, you know, following few parts at the uh, it, it just be a huge mess, but I don't know. This is what we will have to do. So excuse me about that. Anyway, um, let's add this desk also to this bath layer. So add selected object, and I can get rid of those. I'm gonna create a simple um, disc shape, which I will use a polygon cylinder. Maybe I can use a polygon cylinder, I guess. Okay, and. I'm gonna squeeze this down, sorry, with the scale tool, squeeze the, uh, scale this up that way, okay, so we can see what we are working with. I'm gonna right click choose vertex, choose this vertex C point, and right, shift right click chamfer vertex. With that done, I'm gonna simply grab this, scale this that way. And I'm going to lift this up a little bit, this way, extrude this, switch to scale tool, and start to close this backwards, okay, extrude once more, switch to scale tool, that way, and I'm going to push this a little bit inside that way, okay, so extrude once more, switch to scale tool, scale this down and push this inside. I don't want this to pick out from this side. Be aware that this is not what not my interest. Anyway, bring this, push this here and that's good. Press F8, bring it back to object mode and now I'm gonna add some kind of a sphere here. Okay, so we'll have a sphere inside this thing and I'm gonna right click choose face and I don't want to get rid of half cut of it leave some space here okay leave one this is basically if I wanted to get rid of half cut I would select all of those but I want to select only those okay and simply delete them so press delete on your keyboard and delete them press F8 and bring this over here that way now with that in mind, I'm going to right click choose face, I'm going to take a look at this and you know what, maybe first of all I'm going to do some calculations here. So this shape as by default and this shape as you can see with the default settings they have the same amount and we can amount them into each other, right? So what I will do is I'm going to grab the sphere, bring it up grab this thing here, extrude it once more as we did earlier, close it in a little bit more, press F8 to bring it back to object mode, grab this, sorry, grab this face here, delete it, press F8, grab this thing here, and mount it on top of this, and I'm gonna scale this so at least I can see where is the opening, you see, so I'm bring it here that way I know that it's somewhat okay and what I will do here is I'm gonna right click choose vertices and inside there there are the bottom vertices okay we can't really see them but if you go over shading x-ray you'll be able to see them I'm gonna grab them all the lower ones and just pull them a little bit upwards that way okay press F8 to bring it back to object mode turn off the x-ray and now 
we will grab this and this go over mesh combine and then after it's combined and they are acting like one unit we can use the merge vertex tool and start patching this okay so I'm gonna patch this oopsie very gently to each other starting from the sphere downwards and whatever will be the case with you if you're gonna do it the other direction so do it the entire shape the same to the entire shape okay so I'm always starting from the sphere right now that way that way now the problem with this sphere is I had to choose what I want to do. I want to do something which is not really a moving part or I want this to be a moving part and therefore I will need to do my own um, adjustment to this. And what I mean by that, and whenever you open this valve, you want this to move or react or do something, okay? But I could easily just come and take some faces and create the valve as it was a one unit. But I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna right click choose face I'm gonna grab maybe all those faces here that way see make sure it's even from all sides shift right click choose duplicate faces okay press F8 three times when you see this gizmo and then unselect by holding control unselect the base of this so now we have the same uh, size of this so it's matching whatever goes there and we can simply come and extrude this feature outwards that way press F8 bring it back to object mode and you see we have this mounted perfectly on top of this here okay so now we will grab these shift right click choose sorry shift uh, sorry <laughs> right click choose faces let's grab those four faces or maybe you know what let's grab these faces like so I'm gonna select only those okay I wanna have a clean hole here I'm gonna extrude them switch to move tool extrude them that way okay so now I will have a you know open area here I'm going to press F8, leave it as it is. Now, I would want to, um, you know, uh, use Smooth Preview in this case. So, this will be Smooth Preview, but we'll need to add some more edge loops here. And if this will Smooth Preview, this is how it will look. So, we need to fix some things here. I'm going to add a few edge loops for both of those items. I'm going to add one edge loop here, one edge loop here to maintain these area sharp. and I'm gonna add one edge loop here and one edge loop down there. One edge loop from this side, one edge loop from this side, one edge loop from this side, and one edge loop for this side. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I've done. This one was the sharp one which goes down there and I need two of them to support them. So I have two and here I need to have two to support this but I'm not sure that I want this to be supported so let's leave it as it is press F8 so that looks nice right and we need to add some edge loops here so first of all I want to add one edge loop here one edge loop here one edge loop here one edge loop there only where I want this to be a little bit more uh, curved or sharpened I'm gonna add a little bit more edges so I'm going to do this here and there and if I press 3 now, press F8, bring it back to object mode, unselect this, you'll see that it looks quite nice, right? As a valve. Okay? Now, I've done this in very, very old uh, model of mine. Uh, it was like a poor design for a valve, but I thought that it was cool. So if you want, you can grab, I don't know, uh, some part of this sphere Okay, like this one, and then these, this, 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 and that. Okay, uh, 
all those faces like so. Let's unselect this one, okay? Just those. And then I was extruding them. Press F A, well, press 1 to exit smooth preview. And you want to extrude them inside that way, just a little bit. So this will be the indicator for if it's a warm water or not. You can put some kind of a, you know, blue to red color on top of this area. So it will be easier to, you know, know what is red and what is uh, what is warm and what is cold. Anyway, I'm going to add a few more edge loops here. So one edge loop here, one edge loop here to maintain this. If you don't want to maintain this, add something in the middle here. It will curve it. So, I don't know, let's say I'm going to add one edge loop here, and then I will be able to do something such as this. Add one here, one here, press 3, okay, and now I can, well, let's first add extra edge loops where I need them. I need one here, support this one. This one already has, so I'm going to add one here and one here and I need well here there is there is this one but anyway I'm gonna add this and what I meant is you can grab those vertices here well try not to select anything else so I'm gonna apply the x-ray and make sure that I don't select I didn't select anything beside that so you see only those two I can choose to move them. So when I'm selecting them and choosing the move tool, I will double click on this move tool and I will see this dialog box. I'm going to try and see if I can use any other method to push them. I think this one will help me because I can do something such as this and then I will go on and do the same over this side. Okay, so I'm choosing only those and I will turn off the x-ray for a second and you can see I can push them with this arrow that way, okay? So, try to match these. Now if I will press 3, it will be rounded here, okay? So, somewhat designed a little bit more. Um, let's reset the move tool, press F8. Let's unselect this, let's take a look on how it really looks that way. Well, I guess there is something I can tweak here because something is just a little bit wrong. Yeah, there is some kind of a stretching area here. All those vertices here should be a little bit more of like that in order to fix this. I don't know, maybe those? Ah! I don't want to move those. If I'm going to move some them, it will be only those, and still yet I'm having like the same problem. So what's happening? I have no idea. Something here is obviously wrong. Something is just not maintained. This is what I was about to say. I know, I know, I know, something is not maintained here. I'm going to add insert edge loop here. And I'm going to insert one more edge loop here. Now let's press 3. That's fine now. Okay. Here, I will simply fix this area again. Grab only those vertices. Let's make sure x-ray, I haven't selected anything else, change the normals position that way. All right, I know what's the problem. These and those, okay? Make sure we are okay. Let's turn off the X-ray and press 3, press F8, and that's better, much better. And now you can even do a little bit more funny stuff. I don't know, 
grab those, grab this circle. Well, let's grab the entire here, all those, shading, x-ray, making sure I didn't select anything else beneath there. Oops. So these not, control to unselect. Let's turn off the x-ray. Let's extrude those. Well, can be on one. <clears throat> to do something such as this. Press F8. Shift right click, insert edge loop, add here, edge loop. You know, all those extrusion, this is pretty much what will give you a little bit more detailing. I mean, every time you choose to uh, add more edges, more things such as this, this is what will really make this unique. This is, I think this is great. Anyway, it looks good. Let's press 3. Let's move preview this, let's move preview that. And now we have this as a velvet for our shower. So I'm gonna grab these. Let's apply the entire room. I'm gonna uh, first, you know, it's not like uh, I knew what the size of it should be, but right now it looks like okay. So if this is the size, uh, just combine them first, okay? Okay, combine them, rotate them so they will be against the wall. That way, hold on the J key while you are rotating, it will help you snap. And move this to the wall. Just like so. I'm going to check myself here. Okay, so I think that's fine. Let's try and center this a little bit. That way. Great. So we have one velvet and we may uh, want to duplicate it later on for the uh, standing shower. Anyway, this is it for this part. I think it was a little bit too long and a little bit too much talking. So I will spare you and we will continue the next part. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you.